Hey, what's up everybody? William back uh, here to do another video. And uh, no diecast review today. No, it's not going to be anything like that. It's going to be back on NASCAR 15. And it's going to be something a little bit different. I haven't seen anyone else do this on YouTube. And so I thought I'd try it out myself, see how it goes. And you guys can tell me in the comments after the video what you think. Uh, it's going to be called a track tutorial. That's what I'm going to call I'm going to call it a track tutorial. And I'm basically going to go through and show you how you should. Uh, the better, the best line to run, uh, the braking points, what points you should hop back in the gas, and then just give good passing zones around the track. And this is on NASCAR 15. This should be able to apply to at least NASCAR 14 and possibly NASCAR Inside Line because th these are all your Technics NASCAR games. Uh, NASCAR Inside Line, NASCAR 14, and NASCAR 15. Uh, they're all, you know, new techniques games. I'm not sure about Inside Line, but this should definitely also be able to apply to 14 and 15. So, um, just in case you want to see right here, here are my assists. I, these are the, I run these assists for all road course tracks um, on NASCAR 15 and NASCAR 14, and uh, sometimes NASCAR Inside Line as well. So, just in case you want to see exactly how the conditions in which I'm driving, those are my assists. Uh, no custom setups or anything, just the default setup with those assists. So let's get into this and I'll tell you a bit more about what I'm going to do here with this. So and as you also can see here, I can't even speak, but as you can see here also I've got my uh, custom NASCAR 15 car that I've created. It's just sponsored by Lowe's, obviously probably Jimmy Johnson's my favorite driver, so I put a, made a Lowe's car in case you want to see really quick. Here it is. And, uh, you know, just pretty simple. I mean, it's a little intricate. Of course, this is the outlap we're on before we actually start making our laps. So I don't have to talk too much about the lap because this is not a, the best idea. Uh, these are not the conditions under which we'll be doing an actual race on. So continue off the car, though. There's the hood. There's left side, right side. Of course, you can see the back here. I'm just going to go cut the bus stop right here. And I probably just hit a cone. But whatever, because this doesn't count as our lap. But basically what I think I'm going to do here is, so the first lap I'll show you, uh, I'll kind of like pause the video or pause the, uh, the game, and we'll see. Um, I'll kind of just tell you a little pre of what you're going to do going to each corner, and I'll do that the whole first lap of the video. Then the second lap I'll do it, whereas I'll be more of like live commentary with no pausing. And then the third lap I'll just do it... Um, I mean, again, but no talking, so that way you can maybe just get, if you're someone who likes to hear the engine noise and like, maybe that's your gauge of when to brake is when the engine makes a certain sound, I'll do that. But here we go. So, beginning this tutorial video, here we go down into turn one. So right here, I'm going to pause. And so there's going to be, off to the left side, there's going to be a, uh, well, almost looks like a stoplight, but it's the caution light, and you know it blinks when there's a caution. But right before that caution light, and I'll show you, but right before that caution light is when you want to start getting on the brakes going into turn one. I have raced online with so many people, and going into turn one, they just totally blow it. They just totally overdrive the corner, can't get through the corner. But you want to brake right before that caution light. So I'll show you right here going into turn one. I'll talk about So right there, you can see that caution light off to the left side. You see I'm locking up the brakes just a little bit, but it allows me to get... Uh, right there to that curve. So now, right here, going off into the second corner, uh, you're gonna. I'm gonna get to the curb. I'm gonna get to the corner. Get to the curb right there on the right side. And once I get to the curb, I'm gonna let out of the gas for just a split second, and then get back into it. You'll hear me do it, and I'll be quiet so you can hear me do it. But I'm gonna get to the curb on the right side, going to that second corner, and you'll uh, you'll just see here. So here I go, going to this corner let off the gas, get back in it really quick. And up through here, up through these S's, you want to just try to stay full throttle. Through there, you want to stay full throttle. Come through here, you want to be full throttle. And this is the really tricky spot, get into this bus stop. So right here, after that, uh, oh, as you see here, I messed it up. But the still breaking point is the same, and if you don't mess it up like I did right there, uh, you kind of sometimes have to even stay braked um, into the bus stop to make sure that you get that bus stop just right because if you do overshoot it kind of like I did it can totally mess up your race but sometimes so right there if you uh, rewind the video a little bit 
um, you'll see going into that bus stop, once again, there'll be a caution light right off to the left side. And rather than the light going into turn one right before it, you broke, you started, you hit the brakes going into turn one right before you went, hit past that caution light. Going into the bus stop, you want to hit the brakes right after you pass the caution light. And you want to hit that uh, curb off to the right side, to the left side, there'll be another one on the left side, there'll be another curb off to the right, and you want to almost run your entire car over it. So there's that. And then also to note, if you have to brake, really the whole thing with the bus stop is to make sure you've got the right line. So if you have to brake almost going through the bus stop to be able to keep that line of uh, right curb, left curb, left curb, right curb, then you brake because you really just want to be able to get on those curbs. And even though you might be going slow and they might not be the best situation, it's really just all about hitting those curbs. So like I said, if you have to brake into the bus stop, brake into the bus stop. And as you play the game like I have, you'll just get a hang of it. So, okay, so now we're going into the carousel. And this is a very, I say this like I'm a professional and I'm really not, but it's a very finesse corner. You have to almost be on the gas, off the gas, on the gas, off the gas. I mean, it's very touchy. So right here, I'm braking a little bit, and then I'm braking on the gas. See, I'm just playing with the throttle. And so right here now, I'm out of the carousel, using up that curb back there a little bit. So right here, the braking zone is right at the end of this wall to the right. And you can see I'm on the brakes. You want to try to get right down there to the bottom lane, maybe go out to that curb if you have to, and then right here, I'm going to pause. Because this corner is another make or break corner. You can gain so much time in this corner, and you can also lose a lot in this last corner as well here at Watkins Glen. Um, and I don't even think I mentioned, though you can probably tell, that I'm doing the tutorial on Watkins Glen. Though you probably already realize that. Uh, this is Watkins Glen. So it'll probably be in the title already as well. So I don't know why you said that. But it's Watkins Glen, whatever. But going into this final turn at Watkins Glen, it's a make or break corner. If you overdrive it, you're going to be way up on the flat off to the left. If you underdrive it, then you're not going to get the run through the corner that you need to be able to carry the momentum down the front stretch. But if you get it just right, you can carry so much momentum down that front stretch back into the first corner. It's amazing. And it took me a while to be able to get this one right. And now that I'm paused, I might have just messed myself up. But you'll at least second see it in the second and third laps. So I'm going to do it going into this corner, and you almost have to lock up the brakes, and you want to get right down. You don't want to be on the curb, but you want to be right next to the curb. So I'll try to show you right here. So I'm on the brakes already. And see, I messed up getting on that curb, but you want to be right down there by it. And so there's the lap at Watkins Glen, and I'll do a more tutorial. So again, braking right before that caution light, getting into turn one. Maybe give a little bit of gas if you feel like you can. And you can actually use up, I'm going to pause real quick, even though I wasn't going to. You can use this area sometimes to your advantage. This, um, this uh, I can't even remember the word that you call it, but the uh, area off to the left there in turn one at Watkins Glen, the runoff, that's what it's called. You can use that runoff to your advantage sometimes. If you carry the right momentum at the right angle going in on turn one, and then you come off and you use that runoff, I've passed guys from the lead in both just playing by myself and online using the runoff if you get the corner right. Now again, it's going to just take some practice if you're new to this, but if you keep practicing, uh, you'll get it in no time. So back to what I was saying though. So we're going to get out of the gas for a split second, back into it, full throttle up through the S's here. You're going to use, you want to be right next to the curb through these S's, not on the curbs, but right next to them. And we're going to try not to mess up this bus stop. So like I said, you want to be on the brakes for the bus stop right after that light to the, off to the left side. And like I said, on the curb, on the curb, on the curb, using the curb still, and get out of the brakes or get out of the gas, coast it through, just play with the throttle. If you feel like your car won't turn, go through the exit of the carousel. You can see I got a little loose there. And there's going to be a blue wall off to the right up here. And right as you get to the end of it, you're going to be down the brakes for this corner. Be right next to the curb, as you can see I just did right there. Then go on this one, brake right here. Carry the momentum through. And there's your lap at Watkins Glen. Now this is going to be my silent lap, so you can just feel, get it here at the engine. So here we go.
All right, and there is your silent lap there at Watkins Glen. Um, again, uh, I hope you all, I hope this, first of all, I hope this helps you. Uh, I'm going to pause real quick. So I just hope this, I hope this helps you out um, with Watkins Glen. And, you know, if some of these corners, if I'm driving them a certain way, it could be my assists too. If you're not driving with these assists and you have less or more assists, it may not work exactly the same and you may have to adjust accordingly. Um, if you have uh, more assists, you may be able to drive the car a bit faster and harder than I am. If you have less, then you may have to back off a bit more than I am too. That's another thing to remember. And even if you are driving with the same assists, remember, and you want to pretty much grab the TV, punch a big hole in it, and throw it in the trash can. I've had those moments before. Uh, believe me, I have. Um, but it just takes time. It takes patience. And you just got to keep working at it. This is one of the hardest tracks to do on the game. So that's why I figured I'd do the first track tutorial on this track. Because I, th I think, honestly, think this is one of, not the hardest, but one of the hardest tracks on the game. And again, just practice. If your assists aren't there, then, you know, maybe adjust a bit. Um, but I certainly hope this helped you all. Uh, let me know down in the comments uh, what you all think. Like the video. That will give me a good idea of what you guys think of the idea of the video and the video itself. Uh, subscribe, of course, as I always ask you, because I appreciate the support. And uh, if you want to, too, comment down below if you'd like to see more of these track tutorials. Uh, let me down in the comment. Let me know in the, down in the comments below uh, what tracks you'd like to see me do. So, but that'll be pretty much it for this video. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.